Hi everybody, welcome to Card in Black. In this video, I will solve this exercise as a mechanical tutorial. I will show you a method to draw this tool for mechanical uses and how to make the project of this exercise with its different views. The units used here are in centimeters. So let's start. First, I want to show you that I divided the workspace in four viewports. On the main one here, I want a 3D view and it's where I will perform most of the drawing. I can use an isometric view, for example, a southwest isometric. The viewports at the right are the top view, left view and front view. I'm going to draw the border of the base with the command rectangle. I type ERC and press enter. Then I'm going to type the coordinates 120 on the X axis. Then I press tab and type 125 for the Y axis. OK, the next will be the circles here. To draw the two circles, it's important that you have in mind that they are concentric and those are the vertical and horizontal distances from the corner. I'm going to draw a line. I type L and press enter. Hoof this end point, drag the pointer in this way, type the distance of 12.5 and press enter. Then I draw a line horizontally with the length 15. Next. I draw a circle from the second point of the line that I just drew. This endpoint. For it, I have to type the radius, which is 4.5. Half of the diameter, that's what is shown on the paper. For the second circle, I type 7.5 for the radius. Then I'm going to draw this one at a distance of 35 from the border. The circle itself will be with the radius of 4. Next, I'm going to use the command mirror for the objects I have made. The three circles. Press enter. Select these two circles and the other here. I find this midpoint and draw here the mirror line. Then I choose no because I don't want to erase the original objects. After I use mirror again, remember that if I press enter I activate the previous command used. But this time I select all the circles and find this time the mirror line at this edge. Then I just need to do exactly as before. Ok, now that the top view of the first part is done, I want to start modeling it. And for that purpose, I'm going to switch the workspace to 3D modeling. Here is much better because I will have the 3D tools at the ribbon. I'm going to activate the command press pull. Click in the icon located here. Then I select the area and wait until everything is highlighted. Then I move up and press stem for the width of the base. Next, I need to press pull the area between these two circles. I move up, but this time, instead of specifying the distance, remember that there are four figures like this. So I switch to the option multiple by typing M and select all the four areas. Finally, I need to extrude this with four centimeters of height. And this is how the result looks like. On the next section, we will draw the front and back elevations. First, move the UCS to this corner. 
click here and then I have to rotate it. First, I click on the Y axis and rotate it 90 degrees in this direction. After, I click on the X axis and put it in the direction of this edge. Now I can draw the first elevation in this plane. Next step, hide all the existing drawing. I'm going to select all the objects, click with the right button, and I go to Isolate and click on Hide Objects. With this, I will draw the next objects and they will not interfere what I have made before, so it's going to be easier. To start drawing the first line, I type L, press Enter, I type the coordinate 0 for the X axis, press Tab and type 0 again for the Y axis. Then I draw the lines, 65 centimeters, then another 37.5, then 50, and I just follow the dimensions which are in the PDF file until I connect to the origin. So it's done. Now I need to draw the big circles. The center is located at the distance of 19.5 from the first vertical line. And be careful because it's not located exactly in the middle, even if it seems to be. So first I draw a support line, go to this end point, move right, type 19.5, and then I draw a vertical line with 25 centimeters of length in this direction. Okay, now I can draw the circle, which has a diameter of 28 centimeters. And I switch to insert the diameter, and then I just insert a value of 28. For drawing the circle on the other side, I can use the command mirror, as this is a symmetric figure. I select the circle, press enter, and draw a mirror line from this midpoint. Oh, and the auxiliary line I can delete it. Next, I will make the elevation on the other side of this machinery. As it's quite similar, I'm going to use these objects and I copy them to a place at the right of them, for example. Now I draw a line here. After, with the command extend, I'm going to select this object, press enter, then extend these vertical lines to the bottom. Then I delete this line as it's not in this elevation. Now, in the middle section, I draw a circle. I hove this midpoint drag the pointer down, type the distance of 25 to place the center there. Then, this time, the diameter measures 30 centimeters. So, we can finally add a third dimension to these figures. I'm going to use the press pull command for that. Select this area and extrude those objects with 25 centimeters. Then do the same for the next figure. The sections on the sides will have an extrusion of 25 cm and the one in the middle just 15. Press Enter at the end. Next, as you may remember, I isolated the base plate. Click with the right button anywhere on the workspace, go to Isolate and click on End object isolation. Now I have to rotate this solid 180 degrees. I'm going to use a 3D rotation. You will see how this command works. I click on it, select the objects and press enter, select the plane of rotation, it's going to be this one, and then rotate it 180 degrees. Finally, 
I'm going to move these objects. Select the base point at the back because I want to relocate them here. Ok, we have finished modeling this exercise, but if we want to have this as a single object, we can use the command union to merge all the solids. However, have in mind that the polylines and lines don't merge with the solid objects. So I can use the command move, I select the solid and place it, for example, to the right side. Then I can just delete these objects. So we reach the end of the part one of this tutorial. On the second part, we are going to learn how to print this machinery with several viewports, one with the isometric view and three elevations. Thank you very much for watching, don't forget to subscribe to Cad in Black and see you next time.